Michigan's COVID-19 case numbers hit a major milestone today, which no one wanted to see. Yeah, Karen, now above 100,000 cases across the state. That sounds disconcerting, of course, but if things have progress progressed, maybe not as terrible as it sounds. Rod Maloney joins us tonight with a look at the numbers and what it all means. Rod. Well, Devin, you know, uh, the situation here is that this is one very tough and difficult uh, virus to deal with. We already knew that, uh, but because we see a lot of high numbers in terms of cases as opposed to deaths, um, it's actually not that bad a thing. Yes, the deaths are very sad, but also the number of cases means some good things. Let's take a look. Another look at the state's numbers. Right now, our confirmed cases are 100,599, but the state does add probable cases too, and so that's numbered at 10,385, which brings us to a total of just under 111,000 cases. The confirmed deaths, sadly, are at 6,446, or 5% of all of those cases. For some perspective, we turn to U of M epidemiologist, Dr. Arnold Monto. I think that it's very good that we are increasing in numbers because we know that there are cases around. And if, we, if our case numbers were not increasing, it would tell me that we're not testing enough. And the state is reporting more than 2.6 million tests, with the state population at just under 10 million. It accounts for about 26% of the population, although some people have had multiple tests. Local 4's Dr. Frank McGeorge says the 100,000 count is not nearly as frightening as it sounds. Crossing 100,000 cases is an important benchmark because it does show how real and broad the pandemic is. But beyond being a sad statistic, it doesn't mean as much to me as cases per million population. Looking at it that way, Michigan is actually below the national average. And even with 100,000 total cases, there are at least 30 other states with more cases per capita. Now, the doctor uh, also says, the epidemiologist, Dr. Monto, also told us uh, that this is a situation um, that uh, he, he figures it's going to be difficult moving forward uh, at much more of a pace than we are right now because it's a difficult disease to nail down, to combat. And more than anything, what he wants to see is uh, the state being able to uh, test more and have next, next to no people going into the hospital. That's the benchmark that he's most concerned with. He says it's going to be tough. It's going to be a while, too. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Unfortunate. All right, Rod.